can enamel grow back. Enamel can't grow back, I'm afraid. It's a one-off substance. So once your enamel is gone or broken, that is it. it can, you can never have it ever again. Enamel's amazing because it's one of the strongest substances in um, nature. Even after you die and decay and hundreds of years later, the enamel and the teeth will still be there. So it is really important to look after your enamel. Ways that you can damage your enamel is by eating lots of sweets and chocolates, acidic things, sugary things, and trauma. Um, so try to prevent these things by having a really good diet and a really good brushing or a hygiene habit. Um, so in terms of brushing your teeth to prevent decay and sugars attacking your enamel, um, brush your teeth twice a day for two minutes using the correct technique, making sure that your bristles of your toothbrush brush are at 45 degrees to your gum margins and using a fluoride toothpaste. After you finish brushing your teeth, then do make sure that you spit out, don't rinse the fluoride out so the fluoride has maximum contact with your teeth. And also during the day at a separate time than brushing your teeth, you can use a fluoride mouthwash as well. So with a fluoride mouthwash, you can, if you brush your teeth in the morning, perhaps you can have it after lunch um, or, or after tea or something. Rinse your mouth out with the fluoride, but don't have anything to eat or drink for half an hour afterwards for that fluoride to be in contact with your teeth as long as possible. So there's lots of ways for you to make sure that you look after your enamel because once it's gone, it's gone. It's never going to grow back. And it is very important to help you um, eat and chew and have a good diet and stay healthy. There are several layers to your teeth. The enamel is the super hard layer at the top of the teeth. You then have the dentine, which is slightly softer underneath. And then you have the middle of the tooth, which is uh, the pulp where all the nerve supply in the blood is. A little bit like a coconut. So you've got a very thick, hard outer shell. Then you've got a slightly softer inside bit. And then you've got sort of the very, very soft bit in the middle there. When you have plaque on your teeth, the acids and the sugars then um, help to increase the bacteria, which then attack the enamel on your teeth, breaking it down and eventually causing cavities. It's important to keep these bacteria at a minimum and help to reduce the acid and the sugar um, intake to prevent this attack on your enamel and that then prevents decays, fillings and problems with your teeth. Enamel is naturally a very strong substance. It uh, sort of protects against um, hot and cold and pressure. It's very, very strong. Using fluoride does help to strengthen the enamel further by using fluoride toothpaste and um, spitting out, not rinsing it out um, to try and protect your teeth even further. There are several abrasive toothpastes on the market that can damage the enamel of your teeth. So whitening toothpaste or charcoal toothpaste can be quite gritty and abrasive and they work by removing the top layer of your enamel and removing any staining away with it. However, this is damaging for your teeth and can cause sensitivity and enamel loss over a period of time. Brushing your teeth too hard can damage your enamel as well. So if you're really scrubbing your teeth over a period of time, that repeated trauma on your teeth can help to thin the enamel or brush it away. So it's very important to use the right pressure when you are brushing your teeth. Most modern electric toothbrushes do have a pressure sensor, so they do flash up red or they do indicate that you are brushing your teeth too hard. However, manual toothbrushes don't have a pressure sensor, so you must, must make sure that when you do use a manual toothbrush, you don't scrub your teeth too hard and you do use the correct brushing technique by putting the bristles of your toothbrush at a 45 degree angle to your gums, brushing in a circular motion with the right pressure.
When you have a weakened area of enamel, you can use fluoride toothpaste and you can use, um, you can have a better diet and that can help to remineralize the enamel. This means that your enamel is repairing, but it's not regrowing, really unfortunately. So once the enamel is gone, it will never grow back. However, in some circumstances, the enamel um, can repair and um, it can remineralize.